Uh, I, I want to, to give a very quick review about the GIMBOS structure, organizational structure. Okay. Um, the terms of reference of GIMBOS um, yeah, say how we have to proceed. Uh, regarding the, the, the people working in GIGOS. And uh, these terms of reference are regular, regularly updated to assimilate uh, new changes or updates in the IAG statutes and bylaws, uh, to include new strategic challenges for GIGOS and to refine some organizational issues. Uh, the major revisions uh, happened every four years, coinciding with the four, uh, four years term of IAG, and you can see here some examples. The, the first one, the, the blue one, uh, was the operational structure of, of GIGOS in 2000, from 2011 to 2015, more or less, and then here 2015 to 2019, and the lens one from 2019 to 2023. And of course, uh, we uh, in the last term uh, with the uh, Basara uh, as president, uh, we introduced also some changes. The main change was the merging of the GIGOS consortium and the GIGOS coordinating board initially. And uh, these two bodies were the, the decision making bodies, let's say. But the GIGOS consortium, consortium was a more um, a representative body. They, they, so this consortium uh, really didn't meet, and the members were defined at the beginning of our term. And this consortium um, uh, elected about eight members for the coordinating board, and the GIGOS coordinating board was really. Uh, giving the policy direction of GIGOS. Uh, this was very confusing <laughs> for, for inside and outside of GIGOS. And after a survey, it was decided to merge these two, these two um, bodies in only one um, body called Covering uh, Covering Board. So uh, from today, we will talk about the GIGOS Covering Board. Uh, another change is related to the focus areas. The, the, one of the priority uh, focus areas in GIGOS was the unification of the realization of our World High System. And uh, these focus areas, the fo this focus area was active in uh, 12 years, and the objectives of this focus area were completed in this year. So the operational uh, maintenance, let's say the operational activities for the World High System uh, are, uh, will be uh, assumed by the International Gravity Field Service. On Friday, on Friday, we will have some details about this transition, but the focus areas itself uh, was the Commission and the IUGG 2023. And now we have a new focus area, um, Artificial Intelligence for Geodesy. It started in May, in May 2023. So, um, I will not go into the details because most of these, most now all of these components will will present some reports uh, tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. But I think it's important that we have um, clarity about the components of this stru structure of GIGOS. Uh, the focus areas um, face scientific challenges with the object to identify new products uh, for geodesy, for instance, the unified high system, and how this product could be operationally maintained by one service in, in, in the IAG. If one existing service could take care of these new products, is, is okay. If not, um, it is proposed or it should be proposed to establish a new service. They are cross-disciplinary. They face scientific topics, so they work with working groups 
and the difference between the working groups in the focus areas and the working groups established in the other IEG components is uh, the long term. Usually the working groups in the commissions or intercommission committees are, are fixed to a four-year period and the achievements are achieved or so the objectives are achieved or no. The, there is no problem, the outcome is the outcome. But here um, we, we set up uh, the world to, to be successful. <laughs> okay, uh, then we have the Bureau of Products and Standards and this Bureau concentrates on everything what has to do with the standards. So uh, consistency of a standard uh, in, internally in, in the IEG, so in geometry and and the uh, gravity field should use the same standards. And this uh, bureau also takes care of the standard adopted by other uh, international associations um, dealing with the standards. And you can see some uh, examples here, ISO, IAU, etc. And uh, this bureau also identify gaps uh, in standards and products and um, propose uh, ways of solution when, when inconsistencies are identified. Uh, we have also the Bureau of Networks and Observations and this Bureau is concentrated to the infrastructure, so the coordination of the services, the geodetic um, infrastructure, the uh, um, core stations, uh, and uh, coordinates uh, the different initiatives to maintain and put forward the geodetic infrastructure. We have the coordinating office. The coordinating office is the heart of GEOS. Martin is the coordinating office director and he does everything. So <laughs> the coordinating office serves as the secretariat of GIGOS, coordinates the administrative work, he organizes the meetings, and he keeps, sorry, he defines and keeps uh, everything related to the, to the web page and the um, uh, social media presence of, of GIGOS, uh, is responsible for outreach and communications, and uh, the GIGOS coordinating office also hosts the position of the manager of external relations and the committee for the DUIs in Jersey. We will have reports tomorrow on these topics. Uh, then we have the GIGOS affiliates. We, we talk about the necessity to extend these activities to the regions. Uh, and then this is a win-win situation because um, I understand that at the national level it's very difficult to get support for genetic activities uh, because it's not evident the benefits of geodesy. So uh, to get somebody for uh, some money for a GPS station, so one has to go around and say how important it is to monitor the earthquakes and this kind of things, and the idea is that GIGOS uh, provides some um, uh, background, some support to, to facilitate uh, the activities uh, or yeah, the activities of, of, of uh, genetic activities at the regional and national level. And from the other side, GIGOS benefits from the studies and uh, performing at this level. So, like, like we see this, this morning very interesting uh, presentations around the world in Portugal and Spain, in Spain. and for sure there is uh, a lot of potential to, to benefit uh, from these um, outputs. We have the GIGOS, the, the GIGOS science panel and, and this is the top level in, in, in science in GIGOS. Uh, it is mainly composed uh, by two representat representatives of each uh, IEG commission and uh, each intercommission committee uh, from the project also, and we have one representative from the focus areas. Um, they provide scientific guidance to GIGOS when, when it's required, 
and uh, the chair of this uh, science panel coordinates the realization of geo sessions in different, different uh, scientific conferences. And then we have the executive committee, and the executive committee um, it serves under the direction of the GIGOS Governing Board, and it has to, the, to deal with the day-to-day -day activities for GIGOS. Uh, it's responsible to coordinate and to push and to motivate uh, the achievement of the implementation plan, and uh, his members are uh, mainly, um, or his member represents the main components of the GIGOS, and you can see here the a list of the members, the president, vice president, both uh, the directors of both bureaus, uh, the GIGOS coordinating office uh, director, the manager of external relations, and uh, we have also uh, in the executive committee two representatives from the Global Watch. And we have permanent guests, the immediate vice president of GIGOS, the IEG president or the designated, designated representative and the GIGO science panel chair. Uh, permanent guests means that they, they attend uh, the meetings, uh, they provide ideas, they suggest activities, but the, the work is done by the executive committee members. And now we have the main, the main body in GIGOS. This is the government the GIGOS Governing Board um, is the central oversight and decision-making body of GIGOS and is the collective voice for all GIGOS matters. And it's uh, so uh, responsible for, for the um, comprehensive view uh, of GIGOS because it is composed by representatives of each uh, IEG component and also the GIGOS officers. Uh, I mean, GIGOS officers and uh, the colleagues taking responsibility of one of the components of GIGOS. You can see here the, the composition of the governing board, GIGOS president, vice president, the immediate vice president of GIGOS, the president, and one representative from each service, one representative from, from each commission, one representative from each intercommission committee, and one representative for, for, from each project. Now we have only one IEG project, but if we will have two IEG projects, we will have two representatives. Then we have the science panel direct, um, chair, the director uh, of two of the both uh, bureaus, and representative for, for each IEG was affiliate, the coordinating office director, the manager of external relations, the leads of the focus areas and the chairs of the of the different committees in GIGOS. You can see here the, the amount of these, of these uh, representatives uh, as of July uh, this year. Um, then we have two members at large to ensure some geographical homogeneity that the, the, that the geographical regions and the representatives can be um, in, at, the, at the GIGOS Governing Board. And we introduce also two appointed members, and these appointed members should be uh, defined by the executive committee. Uh, and then we have non-voting members. The non-voting members are the, the chairs of the working groups and um, another, another functions that are integrated in one of the main GIGOS components. And this is the status of the governing board voting members as of uh, yesterday. We have uh, defined and ready the representatives for all intercommission, uh, for all commissions and intercommission committees uh, from the services. Uh, we are still missing IGS, but I know that IGS have a meeting for the executive committee meeting uh, on Friday, something like that. So the name should be um, come, uh, soon. Um, we are uh, negotiating <laughs> the GIGOS vice president, and we have the science panel chair. Uh, unfortunately, 
Kosu Kehenki stepped down as, as chair of the science panel, and now he's coordinating the election of a new chair for the science panel, but he will present this uh, later. Um, this will be solved when we are completing all the names uh, missing here. Uh, you are seeing here the, the primary representative, but uh, it's true that when the primary representative um, is not able to attend any GIGOS meeting, he can, he or she can recommend or uh, give delegate uh, a second representative uh, in his place. Okay, what is happening now? Uh, our, our objective or our goal is to complete the GIGOS uh, governing board membership by the end of this, of this month. And uh, then we can elect the two members at large positions. Uh, for that, the, the GIGOS president should define an election committee and this election committee prepares a list of candidates and the governing board, the other members of the governing board, uh, will elect the two positions for, for uh, the members of the uh, This We hope that this is ready by uh, October 10th, and then we will uh, appoint uh, the two appointed members. And uh, we most probably, uh, these two appointed members uh, will be early career scientists, although we have here many new, uh, many young people. Uh, we will um, appoint two, two early career scientists as GIGOS response to Richard's initiative in the IEG Executive Committee. And uh, the idea is to have the, the, okay, the, the two appointed uh, members Okay, <laughs> sorry. Once the, the governing board is completed, including the two appointed members and the, and the two members at large, we will need two representatives from the governing board for the daily activities and phase in the GIGOS executive committee. And with this, would be this organizational structure of GIGOS completed. I would like to highlight the following. Uh, GIGOS, as a user in the IEG, any action taken for these people to support the implementation, development, or maintenance of GIGOS or any IEG company uh, is voluntarily and on a base effort basis. Any resources are provided by the colleagues contributing to these initiatives. Uh, there is no funding, so uh, many people. Uh, Many colleagues think that when when somebody invites somebody into a project, the first question is, ah, can I get funding? No. GIGOS and IEG cannot provide funding because we don't have money. So the the operational activities uh, and the um, economical or the financial resources are provided by our home institutions. And this is make very, very valuable the, the contribution of the different members in the GIGOS boards, bureaus, coordinating office, committees, affiliates, focus areas, working groups. There's a lot, a lot of people working for free for GIGOS. So this, this support is, is really highly appreciated and, of course, acknowledged. This will be the end. Uh, of my presentation related to the governing board of the GIGOS structure. Uh, I don't know if there is questions or comments. Uh, I have to add something here. Um, we have a new uh, service. The International Ultimate Service uh, was installed as a pilot service because it's in the implementation phase. Uh, it was installed in, in the uh, at the IEG uh, Executive Committee meeting at IGG. And our idea is to invite a representative of this service to be a permanent guest, a permanent guest in this, in this uh, golden board um, in order to see 
how G was could support the implementation of, of the service and, and to see if there is more points of contact between Jingos and, and the new service. I, I think this is all. Cool.